Good evening and welcome to Garblag Wednesdays, or should I say Traveller Wednesdays. Um, this is episode three of the Pirates of Drynax, uh, supported nicely from Mongoose Games. Um, tonight we will be giving away a PDF copy of uh, the Pirates box set. Um, so a really good prize at the end of the night. Um, so please uh, wait around for that. Um, we've got a little bit of a change uh, in this episode. So um, Dan, who was playing the old retired cop, uh, has decided to drop out. So we've got a new player who's brand new to the channel, brand new to the community. I've known him a lifetime now. And that's Stu, who's playing Colonel Barnes Chapman. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll work around and everybody can tell you what's going on with the characters again. So uh, we'll start with Aaron. I'm Vigo Hyde. I was uh, raised on Y Park in one of the only two authorized psionic institutes. And then the, the Navy, the Imperium Navy got a hold of me and they wanted to make me a psychic warrior. At first, I thought that was where I needed to be. But then they just retreated me like an asset, a weapon, a second class citizen, just like the rest of you norms do. So I left, found myself a nice hive city to sink into and just spent some time working on getting what I deserved out of society. But fortunately, I was found, found by the ch children of the transcendent. And they taught me the truth that we are the next step in evolution, that the psionics are as close to divine as we will ever get. And as we continue to explore our abilities, the closer we will get to that. I know you norms don't like to hear it, but that's the truth. I spent a little over a decade finding nascent telepaths and scions, helping them escape the clutches of the Imperium, getting them to safe houses and safe colonies and even out of the Imperium altogether if necessary. And I was damn good at it. But then I was found by an intelligent operative, Agent Thorne. And he pointed out that not all scions were using their gifts the way they should. We ran across a human trafficking smuggling ring led by a clairvoyant who was staying one step ahead of the law. I couldn't stomach that. So we took him down together. Children of the Transcendent couldn't stomach that. They said I betrayed our own and they kicked me to the curb. So now I travel with Agent Thorne and we try to stay one step ahead of the Imperium while making a little bit of a difference and putting some credits in our pockets. I'm Vigo Hyde. Thank you, Aaron. Excellent. Uh, on to Roger. Tough act to follow there, Rog. <laughs> Really is. I was just saying that thinking, well, crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Roger, and I'm playing uh, Harkon, the Prince of Drynax. Uh, he's had a very tough life. I mean, he almost choked on the silver spoon in his mouth. It was just awful. Forced to live a life of luxury, partying, women, alcohol, other less legal substances. And eventually, his dad had enough and went, you've actually got to do something useful. I mean, how unfair is that? What a rubbish life. And now he's somehow ended up trying to find some lady that almost got shot by a shotgun. So <laughs> can't imagine how that happened, Simon. Tactical. Okay, excellent. Uh, talking of the devil, uh, Simon. Uh, hi there, uh, I'm Simon. I'm playing uh, Terence Thorne or uh, Agent Thorne. Uh, so he was a um, uh, born into a like a Belter family. Um, went off to college, got picked up by the agency. Uh, went through some pretty rigorous surgery. So he's got um, drone controller implants, and he's got uh, loads of other stuff. He was uh, dropped into um, kind of behind the lines. He so he jumped out of a big plane in a squirrel suit. Um, him and his little drone and they were and eventually they started a, started a revolution how does that kind of thing happen 
So, um, um, so I hooked up with Vigo as a part of uh, the agency work. And then a uh, few things went south and he uh, ran off to the scouts, um, as in like the space scouts. Uh, and now he's, he's found himself kind of in need of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, backer in need of a sponsor so he can kind of carry on some of his, uh, his hobbies. And that's where we are. And currently I'm, um, I've got a shotgun and I'm, I'm about to threaten to um, shoot a whole load of people because I don't have tactics. Okay. So Stewie, uh, if, if you would like to give a little bit of your background, please. And I'll introduce you into the campaign. I think, yeah, I'm, I'm Stuart, Stuart Muir, and uh, my character is Colonel Barnes Chapman, retired. The uh, Marquis of Granby, or the Marquis of, Marquis of Realgar, depending on uh, when you meet him and how you've met him. Um, I shall read from his biography, uh, seen as uh, one of the things that he has released recently was, a, was his book, called Humble Beginnings, uh, where he explains how he became a, the youngest colonel ever in the Imperial Marines, uh, starting out as basically a, a, a squidge on somebody's boot on the planet Realgar, where he was born, which is a planet on the edge of Imperial space. Born on Realgar, voted the most boring planet in the galaxy on account of its never-ending desert. Luckily for Barnes, it had a naval base. With attached academies, he enrolled to the Ma Marine Academy and to his surprise passed and earned a commission. The new Lieutenant, sorry, Lieutenant for our American cousins, joined the 53rd Imperial Star Marine Regiment. He was in the Point and Press Brigade. Boarding actions were their specialty. He tried to join a group of political activists, the Make Railgar Green Action Group, but they realized that he really wasn't that bright and turned him down. He ended up behind enemy lines in the Fourth Frontier War, surviving on his own on a virtual water world, an irony considering his own home world, eventually being rescued when the lines changed around once more. Promotion beckoned, and during his next term, the young captain was to perform such an act of heroism, saving his entire platoon during a boarding action, that he was promoted twice, becoming the youngest ever colonel in the Imperial Marines at 28 years of age. Ah, his last term saw yet another promotion and his own pick of combat duties. A writer found him, helped him to tell his story, and the book was a moderate success. He retired and took to the spaceways, recalling his tales of daring do for the entertainment of the masses, after dinner speeches on the task circuit, and the occasional bit of adventure to keep his tales interesting. He doesn't know uh, many people in the rest of the party, but I believe he, he has a connection with the noble, um, having spent some time on the planet. <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you very much. Right. So basically, um, Stu, Colonel mm. Barnes um, was escorting a, a lady of court from Drynax, from the floating palace, mm -hmm. where you'd been sort of sticking around and um, rubbing shoulders with uh, royalty and things over there. Uh, her name was Arelda Hutton. Uh, but you got um, intercepted by a group of pirates calling themselves the Hazard Wing, um, and you were both taken prisoner, uh, and you're held in a container um, along with uh, oh, 11 others, was it? 11 others, yep. Um, yeah, so you, you were held there for a while uh, until this strange-looking gentleman appeared in the container from nowhere, Um things started to hit the fan there's lots of gunfire um and then uh some they decided to to hang the the, the um oh God, the hostages which you were part of decided that they was going to hang on to uh Araldo and yourself 
uh, and they were refusing to hand uh, over to the um, rescuers, come terrorists, come whatever they are. Um, at that point, someone then <laughs> did a shotgun uh, into the group and they let you go with a roller. So you and a roller are moving down the container with an open door at the end um, towards um, uh, what looks like a, a wired up agent. Okay. Um, onto the, the bay of uh, what looks like a, a, a big space station. Okay. okay. So we'll, we'll join it there. So, yeah. Um, he cut the doors open, jumped out, I believe, uh, Vigo. Yep. Um, joined in the combat. I believe you dispatched the uh, the remainder of the guards. Did we? Sounds about right. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, you're just gathering uh, each other together. Um, so there will be there will be a weapon in there will be a gun on the floor. Yes. Inside if the we, container. So whatever yeah. the guy had. Um. The, the people that they were fighting are all wearing battle dress. Uh, a couple of them, well, they had LAS rifles, so it, it, I don't know if you're... Well, uh, I mean, the, the, one v, the one Vigo uh, decapitated when he ah, teleported yes. in, so, that, yes, so yes. that as soon as I've released them, there will actually be a gun on the floor inside yeah. the container. Ah, I forgot about the decapitation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> very, it was very... Um, <laughs> so... Um, we're standing in this large container then with yeah. two groups of people shooting each other. Um, well, they well well the, the, the shooting has now stopped. It looks right. like a team that's come to, yeah. but they've mentioned Arauda a lot of times. So, and so, you do know, Arauda, Arauda is your cousin. And you do know that she has uh, quite intimate relations with the king of uh, Dryanax, uh, who is, I forgot his name. Oh, yeah. um, so, king... Oh, come on, Jim. It's King Oled, the 16th. It, uh, sorry, King Oleb, the 16th. So who the way basically I... is a large gentleman with a black beard who likes hanging out with his hawk guard. Wicked. <laughs> Excellent. Does he, does, is he quite loud when he speaks? Yes. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Um. So, yeah, you, you, you're running out. Um, the firing has stopped. There's a bit of rushing round. You notice there's a bit of panic going on in the other bays uh, within the warehouse come docking bay, uh, this big space station. Okay. Uh, you've got non, no equipment or anything at the moment. All right. Uh, no you, idea you've... of whereabouts I am. <laughs> uh, no. no um, when you come out, you do recognise, you are quite well travelled around this area. You do notice that it is um, a spaceport um, at Ogma, which is a well known den of piracy and uh, general nastiness. Right. Okay. Well, I think what I will do is I will take Heralda by the hand so that she stays close to me and I yep. will start to look for ways, um, maybe a way out, a way to a ship, whether there's a, I take it. We're in some kind of docking bay, or yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're so in a docking bay, looking come out for where a way out. Hawken, is this your? Is this is this whoever we're being paid to save? Uh, you re you recognise both of them, Rog. Ah, excellent. There you are. Right, come with me. It's time to leave. And oh, I wasn't expecting to see you here. I'll say, looking at Chapman. No, I seem to have got myself into a spot of bother here. <clears throat> ah, it appears so. Well, uh, scoop up one of those. I'll say, gesturing to one of the laser rifles, just in case. Uh, yeah, it's not really my thing, but okay. Well, in absence of anything <clears throat> else, it'll do. Right now, let's get moving. Um, can I grab the guy's comp, the um, uh, hazard guy who, who got decapitated? Yeah. Um, I will have seen where it was. I just want to grab his communications device. Absolutely, yeah. Of course you can, yeah. Cool. Um, and as we come out, I'll tell them, we're going to that ship. 
and point towards the docking area. Okay. That's our safe exit. Right. Okay. So you're all together then here. Yep. Mm. You notice that there's a rather large Varga as well who's running towards the ship now. And you look across to where um I've forgotten his name now. Um uh, Mike Abbott. Mike Abbott. And he's sort of looking quite shocked at you and holding his chest. And there's blood running through his fingers. Oh, oh. Um, oh. 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 Well, well, I'll and certainly get one on. to his knees. I'll certainly prop him up under one arm to try and help him. Don't worry, get him onto the ship. I'll keep a rear guard. In station, a lot of alarms and flashing lights are now going off, and you, you, you can hear a lot of commotion yeah. getting nearer to you. I'm going to run towards the ship like the Varga was. Yeah. The Peralda. Sign to, to leg it. Harp. Excellent. Okay. You sort of board the ship. There's a few gunshots go past you but yeah you're on and yeah you're sort of away and you're sort of leaving uh the station right where would you want to go then rog uh towards drynax okay so if we look at the star map um let's see that we're roughly one two three we're four uh, X Gunzoi. So yeah, you what what um what jump is your uh, yacht? Uh, I believe one, but I'm just going to check. It's one. They... Jump of one. Yeah, yeah. They're they're not really a cruiser. They're more for partying. <laughs> yeah, down the Spinwood marches. Yes, yeah. <laughs> basically, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so th th there's a, a couple of gas joints in the next sector anyway, so um, it, the, the plan would be to, to jump to the next one and to um, refuel. Um, ah, can you not see the star map? Can anybody see the star map? The sector map. Um, I can configure. Yeah, it's really far oh. out it's like it's a really long way away jim yeah so you, you should be able to scroll in on, on it can you not do that oh i haven't tried that but there we go uh nope nope ah hold on a second it did tell me that i don't have a token when i logged in ah how about that Ogmar, I've got a sector map up, uh, yeah. the traveller map, so I can see it. <clears throat> can anybody else see that now? Do you, have you got jump tanks on your uh, on your yacht? Uh, have you got? Probably not. <laughs> it's no, just, I can't. Um, see we're anything. we're off to Marduk then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Mardu could be one back. Um, I'm know. assuming you'll need to have a you'll need to have a route of one 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 and one yeah. to get there. Otherwise, what we do is we basically find a larger ship, dock the dock <laughs> in its bay, and then or attach ourselves to it, and then transport with it. Yeah, so it might be an idea to head to Marduk. Yeah, so you can, right. you have a you have a docking clamp. Yeah, so and then on some, back, on some yeah, on some ships they'll have a docking clamp. So what you can do is you can physically attach your ship to it. You just count both weights of the ship for for transport uh, for how much fuel you use, and then you can do a two jump. And you, essentially, you're just paying them to to take you more distance. That's that's pretty much how you transport um, your ship over a longer distance. Okie dokie. That then. So what What's the plan then? Are you going to Marduk? Uh, I, yeah, sounds like we have to. We go to Marduk, yeah. Okay. I've just re um, refreshed the screen. Can you see them up now? Yep. Oh, Try refreshing yourselves on um, um, Foundry. Oh, 
Uh, you do not own any token with vision in this scene. Yeah. Oh, okay. The old token issue. Pigo will just look around, though, and he'll be like, I don't do the ship stuff. I do the ground <laughs> stuff. So I'm going to go uh, meditate or um, take a nap. Um, I'm going to hand Vigo the um, communications device. Um, you may find that there's information on there. If this guy's been off off world or even uh, communicated, he might have downloaded stuff from the from the actual station, or there could be useful stuff on here for future hacking. Good shot there, Agent Thorne. I'll I'll see if I can hack into his comms and and see if he's got any useful information for us. He might have some contacts off world or contact or or no ships captains that are you know. That you know, if we meet them, we can name drop and. Well, that we definitely if 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 they've got assets in the area, we want to make sure we can stay one step ahead of them. And this yeah. yacht, if they come at us with anything heavily armed, they're just going to end up taking the mark back again. Yeah. So if you can just see on this map, there's Ogma. Yeah. My oh, yeah, yeah. up here. Yep. And if you look down here, I believe yep. that's Droinax. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So there is lots of empty uh, spaces there, and there's lots of systems as well. Yeah. So when we uh, get to when we get to the next place, we'll have to try and find a a uh, like a tug or something that's going to be able to transport us. Okay. Well, um, and I'll try I'll try and get that map visible for next session. I do apologise. I thought it was. Yeah. Maybe I have to get you tokens on it or something. Well, uh, now we're now we're on board. More importantly. Cocktails? <laughs> oh. I don't. I don't sell I myself. I do. <laughs> <clears throat> well, suit yourself. I'm off to the bar. I'll join him. Hey, um, Arcus, this is your sure. ship, right? Who's flying this tub? Oh, he's got a full crew, has not he? Uh, that, that'd be the captain. He's 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 on the bridge. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting you're rich. Um, can I suggest that uh, the, uh, the the person we came to save? Can we just check she's okay? I did shoot a shotgun in her general direction. I didn't don't think I hit her, but I'm sure, um, sure I'll have a I'll have Worcester check her over. Uh, Worcester, if you wouldn't mind. Um, uh, yes, sir. And off he trots with his uh, um, butler jumpsuit on. Um, I'll I'll spend some time fixing up Mike. Okay. Um, so yeah, th there's um, a bleep at your uh, door, Stu, where you're with uh, Aroda. Um, okay. You make sure she's okay. Um, and there is a um, rather well-dressed gentleman uh, without a hair out of place, uh, a well-groomed moustache. Um, and, ah, uh, sir, so, um, is, is the lady in good health? I believe she is. Would you like to come in and say hello? Uh, absolutely. I, I, I am Worcester. Um, and, um, uh, yes, I, I, I work um, uh, for the King's son, um, Harkin. Um, I was yes. just making sure that she wasn't hit by a stray pellet. Uh, Master Thorne, um, uh, as he's known, uh, was worried that uh, his gun may have uh, misfired uh, in, in the direction of the uh, uh, young lady and yourself, and that maybe a, a, a stray pellet had um, entered your personages, causing uh, yourself... Personages? Well, I can, I can assure you, I don't think there is any damage to any of us. But please, please come in. Oh, excellent. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, is, is there anything that you will be needing? Me? Um, other than a very stiff gin and tonic? No, probably Indeed. not. Indeed. Um, I am quite good at uh, the, the pina colada. Um, um, uh, Sounds interesting. Yes, uh, Master Arkin, he, he did. Uh, he, he does like to uh, uh, drink the party drinks, uh, um, so to speak. And um, yes, the, the cocktails are uh, can be flowing uh, a lot of the time. Um, well, why didn't but, somebody tell me that earlier? Uh, Is oh, there a bar in this place? 
Uh, I believe there's one of many. Yeah. One of many? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. A man after my own heart. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Master Arkin has, has his uh, personal mobile minibar as well. Uh, uh, goes around with them. So, yeah. So. Uh, I can see I'll be spending some more time with, uh, with uh, this uh, uh, Prince Harkin, I think. <clears throat> Regaling him with my tales, no doubt. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, I'll um, I'll be along now then, and uh, I'll I'll see you later, uh, Worcester, was it? Yes, uh, absolutely, sir. Very pleased to meet you. Uh, uh, I believe I believe I've seen you at court, uh, Master Chapman. Is it? Yes, or, uh, my friend's Colonel called Chapman, Barney. Yeah, <clears throat> Barney. Okay. Uh, yes. Well, thank you, Colonel. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, off he off he goes. <laughs> And I, I shall head towards the bar. <clears throat> okay. Vigo, Terence, what, what, uh, what, what are you guys doing? Are you joining in the uh, drinking or are you planning your next move? Yeah, Vigo, uh, Vigo will go into the bar, get a glass of distilled water, a pinch of sea salt, a quarter <laughs> tablespoon of magnesium, mix it, shoot it, look back over his shoulder, sigh in disgust say norms under his breath and then go back to his room <laughs> yeah the, 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 there is a few people who, who are supposed to be crew but they, they are all very well dressed and all very good looking yeah um that almost look disgusted at you um and your disgusting behavior that you've just showed in the in the bar um as you disappear off again just can't get the help these days i'll say Already in my smoking jacket with a Bloody Mary in hand. Ah, oh, very good, sir. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, you you have a, a little crowd around you, sort of, uh, as you you hold court with your crew. Vigo will once he does get back to his room. We'll try to hack the comm unit of uh, of the uh, what do they call the Hazard Wing uh, soldier that uh, or gang member that I decapitated in the. Uh, Storage container. Excellent. I believe that um, Agent Thorne will be already getting his workshop uh, up and running <laughs> somewhere, surely, uh, with the comms thing and uh, everything. Is that right? Yeah. So basically, he's um. So he what he so he, it's it it kind of looks like the uh, I'm trying to think it is. Um. So it's like a mining rig. So it's got yep. mining drones inside of it, uh, but it's got like a little workshop. So when it when you get into orbit, it can literally just be jettisoned off, and then it, it can just sit there, and it will, it, you know, the drones will come out and do a bit of mining. It will scan and that kind of thing, and then it can just get picked up later. But inside is his workshop, and that's basically Excellent. what. It, uh, and he, he he just got a robot. He picked up a robot, so um, he's going to go and um, you know. Uh, put it in like I can't even think what it what it, what it is, but uh, he'll give it a good clean net, clean down and and um, and start having a tinker with that. Okay, you, you're guessing. I mean, it, it, it's not stood up because it's all sort of crouched and all all sort of fetal position together. But you, you guess it's quite a big thing. You, you, you possibly like reaching seven and a half feet, maybe standing okay. tall. Um, and it, it, it's quite uh, a, a wide, uh, you know, it, it would be like a, a very tall humanoid, very well-made yeah. humanoid. Yeah. But, yeah, it's very, very battered and broken. Um, yeah, it, it only needs lots of expensive parts and, you know, a little bit of love and care and, yeah, uh, to, to get it up and running. Maybe that's why I'm a pirate. So can steal <laughs> lots of expensive parts. Yeah, that, that could be. Uh, yeah, it could be the way to go. You think? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, so the captain sets uh, course for Marduk. Um, yeah, which is roughly going to take a week to to cross the the sector. Um, so, is there anything that you want to do while this is happening? Or shall we fast forward until we reach the Marduk system? Um, I'll spend a bit of time with each of them just to yep. gauge the, the man. It's just the agent in me, really. Okay. I, and, shall, uh, I, shall, I shall run through my stage show at least once, um, do a bit of rehearsal, and then, uh, and then regale people in the bar, I think. 
Mm. Don't forget, you can do a little bit of training if you want as well. So yeah, that's what Vigo would be focusing on: uh, internally meditating and working on his telepathy. I'm not saying that he's quietly surface scanning the thoughts of everybody on the ship, but you know he's focusing on strengthening his telepathic skills for the. You're probably been busted. Yep, basically. Uh, well, you know, just it's like in the, my diary. Um, must buy Psy helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Find yeah, Tech you... 13 world. <laughs> Everybody almost feels dirty in the brain now and again. <laughs> As if someone's been inside your head. <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, I'll probably be practicing my observation skills, you know, checking out what all these new strange people are doing on board my ship, that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, enjoying all of the onboard entertainment you know absolutely got lots of music home cinema miniature war games you name it excellent and um yeah before the, the so is anybody doing any actual training uh, yeah i'm well, training I was, on my telepathy yeah, yeah. i was trying okay. to do some recon training okay so if you want to make rolls on that do you roll every time or do you have to eight then you plus. have to stay for eight weeks um, or I believe no, you, you do it for a period of time, and then after yeah. a period of time, you get one roll, depending on whether you're using a um, um, uh, some anything to help you do it. Yeah, I've got a, a training program, training or program. Yeah, I forget what yeah. it's called. You, you either have a training program, personal program trainer, or someone yeah. with the skill. Oh, someone's asking if the yacht has a pull. Uh, unfortunately, buying a pool for the yacht wasn't an option, but if it is a thing that's allowed, then 100% yes. Yeah. I, uh, bought, I bought every home comfort that was in the... Uh, as long as it's not an outdoor was, pool. The central supply <laughs> catalog. <laughs> as long as it's not an outdoor pool, Roger. Yeah. It'll be all right. uh, outdoor pool could indeed be a little bit... Uh, yeah. Uh, Challenging. Yeah. Uh, what section is that? Sindal and Okay. Yeah, so you're traveling further into the Sindal sector, uh, and you come out of jump. And again, you're within the sector, the Marduk sector, but you're quite a way off from the station itself. Um, because yeah, you, you you can't jump. Uh, near to where there's any uh, large um, mass, basically. Um, how, so, does this, how does this ship refuel? Roger? Uh, have you got a fuel, fuel scoop? You're going to have to find... Uh, is your captain going to have to find somewhere to refuel? I'd imagine he would have to find somewhere to refuel. Could be okay. refined fuel only, I bet. Um, it yeah. should there tell is, you whether there's there is, a scoop on it. There is a gas joint in the Marduk sector. Is there a scoop on the ship, though? There will be, yeah. In the process. Yeah, I'm going to say, Rick. Um, oh, okay. So, first things first, you... Um, uh, yeah, you, you, you go and get uh, your, um, your fuel. And then you make your way. So... Just a, a little bit of background on Marduk. Um, it's a small Earth-like world uh, that has no surviving cities outside of the starport shanty town. Uh, civilization on Marduk has collapsed due to repeated raids from Ogma uh, and other worlds surrounding. Uh, the planet's population has broken into several dozen clans. Uh, each of which fears all outsiders. The clans all have their own language and wildly divergent uh, cultures. The starport, again, is operated by GDCO uh, and is uh, on an artificial island far away from any of the native archipelagos. Okay. So... You get get you, your fuel, and then you, you approach um, uh, the station. And as you get close, it, it communicates with you. Uh, welcome to Mardox uh, Station. Um, 
Uh, are you preparing to dock? Uh, I'm assuming my captain would be communicating with them, but yeah, he, yes, he, he usually the same. Okay, coming in. Um, we yeah. ask you to uh, uh, abide by laws. Uh, only sidearms uh, should be carried, and nothing more than cloth armor. Um, uh, we wish you a good stay at Marduk. Is that the same rules as the last place? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and your captain takes you in. Uh, he does a little bit of a showy off, um, almost handbrake turn sort of docking maneuver, uh, and you just hear a slight scrape as uh, as it, it fits onto the the docking station, and uh, the um, the passenger tunnel comes out and meets uh, with your yacht. Agent Thorne, I think it's best if we keep uh, Miss Hudden on the ship. I don't think there's yeah. any need for, I'll, I can stay with her. There's no need for us to di disembark and have an opportunity for one of those gangs to grab her again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, might be good to, if we can try and uh, work out if they've, um, um, if any other ships have come, come through to see if they've had any kind of communication. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't see any problem with her. Um, let me hack. Let me hack that comm unit and see if we're getting any pings from any locals who might be here in the spaceport. Yeah. So I'll try a computer with my uh, personal personal hacking computer. I will try an electronics computer role. Okay, what are you trying? I'm going to try and hack into this comm unit that we took to see, particularly to see if it's getting pinged by any other sources of communication from this spaceport. Sure. 13 with five effects. Wow. Okay. To hack. Well, it's a, it's a computer designed specifically for hacking. So it's. Yeah. So, yeah, this, this radio does seem to be on um, a channel. Um, that sort of links up when when you're within range of the station, and starts to pick up traffic. Um, um, again, um, only this time, they're not calling themselves Hazard Wing. They're referring to themselves, or whoever's talking on this channel. So it could be somebody different. Um, but they're. They're referring to themselves as the Trojan Terror Wing. So it'd be good if we um, if we kind of have an idea of which of the which uh, any of the Trojan Terror Wing who are on ships. So we so we know you know if anything kicks off, which ones are going to happen, which ones are going to um, okay, where well, it might with, come from. With that um, that hacking role of um, Aaron's. Uh, it was um, it was quite good and quite concise. So um, you, you've worked out a, a couple of areas where uh, this is pinging to, and you're, you're getting traffic back uh, from. Um, there's a couple of places outside of the station, but they're on the station, if you know what I mean. So possibly ships that adopt. Um, there's pings from you, you get the the. Um, the map of the station has been sort of communicated across to you uh, on on the uh, the ship, so you can see where you'd want to go, uh, together with an itinerary of events and things that are happening uh, for the day. Um, when when the comm unit makes uh, syncs up with the local system and downloads its messages, is there any chatter about uh, Hawkins' ship leaving um, or anything uh, related to Miss Hutton? Yeah, the, 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 there's um, a little bit of traffic about a, um, a, a basically a, a raiding group that uh, attacked um, uh, Hazard Wing Ogmar and um, escaped with um, some loot um, that uh, the, the Hazard Wing had, had sort of um, amassed. Um, and they had already sold. Um, 
this this loot to other major players. So there is quite a little bit of um, traffic, um, a bit of panic going on about it. And yeah, th there's a lot of talk about finding um, um, uh, said people. Agent Thorne, it looks like uh, we've got uh, a lot of chatter concerning our liberation of Ms. Hutton. They may be um, looking for us in the system since it's just the one hop away. Just yeah. FYI. Um, are there any other ships docked here? Yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, any that are capable of towing or carrying whatever way you want to look at it? Jump the yacht. <laughs> Is there any available? Let me just have a quick check. Yeah. You could do with a far trader or something. Well, you need one with a um um oh what's it called? Uh docking clamp. Mm. So the docking clamp is is what you can attach it attach yourself to. That's that's what they use for uh, picking up like um hulks and things like that. Um otherwise we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to leave this one and then basically steal something bigger or just put passage on something bigger. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if we can't, yeah, if we can't get this there in, in you know, as it is, then we might have to, um, might have to book passage on something. There's no but facilities we... at this starport. It's only a C, isn't it? Yeah. No, no, there is quite a good, there is, there is facilities here as well. Mm hmm um, Enough that you could attach jump uh, uh, jump tanks. Um, so because that's the other option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, could, you, could, you could, yeah, you could, um, you could do that, but you're gonna have to put it, put the ship into a fitting yard and have it fitted. Yeah, I know. It might take a while. That's anything. Yeah. There, are, there are a number of ships there that, that um, from, mm. from what you can tell uh, that you've picked up so far, there's uh, an Indigo class pirate carrier. Um, there is uh, a Herald class fast messenger there as well. Um, is that a courier ship? Yeah. That'll be uh, fast. Mm -hmm. We just end up leaving leaving the um, um, the, the ship we've got here. Mm. Well, the courier one sounds like a good option. Uh, we'll start making inquiries with uh, some of the ships to see where they're heading. Is there a TAS office, Jim? <laughs> yep. Aid society, yep. office or, or hostel? Yep. Or... Well, that could yep. be a good place to start. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> if we want to find out information about a planet, where do you go? TAS. Okay. Anyone a member? Uh, I certainly am. Ah, excellent. Well, I why don't find, we... I think you why... find he owns it. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't we go down there then? Only a share. Can... Yes. <clears throat> and let's see what we can find out. Anyone else wish to join us? I believe we can take guests in. I'll stay back with Miss Hutton. I don't want anybody boarding our ship and running off with her while we're out trying to find a way to get to Drynax. No, oh, fair enough. But I'm sure Harkins, uh, gentlemen, can uh, keep the ship from being boarded, surely. They're not very the book, tough. You, Harkin? Oh, I'm sure, you know, they have ways and means. I could cut through his entire staff like butter. Um, I will go, but I won't go in. I will merely loiter around in the main area um, and try and just observe, keep an okay. eye on faces, do like a bit of facial recognition in the. We've lobby. got, I mean, we, you know, we've all, I mean, I've got internal comms through my neural link. So if something pops off, you just got to let me know. Yes, I'm afraid I've got nothing with me at the moment other than the clothes I'm wearing, which. You'll notice, uh, basically, it's an a dress uniform of some kind. Yeah, you 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 managed to that the, there was a bag with you, but you but you basically got like a, a brown robe on uh, with a belt, and that was it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you 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 have got your uniform back. Um, okay. 
that, right. that was in the the, uh, the um, container with you. But that that is literally all you've got. Um, yes. Do you, do you prefer a laser fire, a laser sidearm, or a slug sidearm? Good lord, no, no. I like to shoot a piece of lead at people at high speed. Okay. <clears throat> well, I've got a slug sidearm. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I will. I will. I will hand you a slug sidearm, and I will basically pat my shotgun and say, "I just tend to stick with this trusty beast." <clears throat> well, thank you. Um, it's just a. Would you be able to auto pistol? Yeah. <laughs> Would you be able to get that thing past security? <laughs> We're only allowed sidearms here. Um, it, so it's a, it is a, um, it's the small one. It's the one you can use at um, in. Um, oh, the shotgun pistol thing. Yeah, the little thing. I'm trying. Let me find it. Bit. I know what you mean. Agent Thorne, if you yep. broadcast a, the, your vid feed to me, I'll keep an eye on things. If you need me, well, you know I can be there. Yeah, yeah, instantaneously. Yeah. If I can see where you're at, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I can okay. do that. They start. You're picking up bits, Vigo. Of um, they, they start talking about a ship and a yacht, um, and start describing, um, not to great detail, but similar to to the the, the yacht that you've just sort of landed on. Uh, you've landed in the, the well to, to what you're on they've got a general description and class of the yacht we're on and they are actively searching for recovery of their property which is miss hutton so we need to be quick and we need to get all, out of this system as soon as possible read old chap <clears throat> yes no pistol all right well we'll make our way swiftly to the to the task lounge Okay. Start, start hobnobbing. <laughs> You're greeted there, and there's do what uh, we do best. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah. You're you're met by um, he's a, a, almost a um, a waiter, but he, he he sort of comes over you, asks if you're all right. He's a greeter. Um, is there Whoa. anything I can do do, do for you? Yes, uh, yes. Here's uh, here's my uh, embedded uh, ID chip for. Um, Membership. <clears throat> ah, he scans. Ah, um, it's good to have you with us, Colonel Chapman. Oh, it's good to be here after the day I've had. Um, <clears throat> can you um, get them to rack up a few drinks for us? Um, I think we might uh, go into that. Um, and that courier ship, um, is there anyone around here that works on that? Uh, the, 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 the Star to Star courier. Yes, that's the um, y Yes, um, I, I believe that uh, uh, Captain Goten uh, uh, runs that ship. Ah, I think we might have some business for the captain. <clears throat> uh, he, he is in here at the, the moment, actually, and he points over to this this uh, table in the corner. Bit of a booth, yeah. Uh, so and um, the, there's a, a guy sat there with his feet up on the, the other chair opposite sort of thing, and he He's got um, a bit of a um, uh, a baseball cap on, and it's sort of pulled down over his eyes, and he looks like he's asleep with his arms folded. Right. And he's wearing a brown jumpsuit uh, with star two star down the, the side. So, Harkon, dear fellow, are we ready? <clears throat> I say, let's let's get a drink first. So, how how are the cocktails here? I don't know. I've, um, it's been a while since I've I've been here, if if at all. I don't really remember. So maybe we can um, let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Kind of side side on over to the bar. Yeah, having a look at the top shelf and seeing what <laughs> selection they have. Terence, are you with us? <coughs> no, I'll be in the lobby. So I'll be outside where um where like the um, ship's crew come through and that kind of thing, just observing. So that we can just try and pick out other pick out other ship captains, um, oh. and the comms that they're using, so we can, we know which ones are from the. Um, I'm trying to think what they're called now. What's the what's the um, the group here? Terrorist group. GDCO. 
Oh, the Trojan Terror Wing. Trojan, Trojan Terror Wing, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I think uh, whatever the local equivalent of the Long Island iced tea is, Jim, um, I think we'll have two of those and two to go. Okay. Your drinks are poured for you. Um, sort of, uh, yeah, hand, hand it over to you at the bar uh, by a very smiley gentleman. Excellent. Just let Thanks. me know if you need anything else, sirs. No Thanks problem. Kindly. And kind of sidle on over to the captain in the corner. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the sound of snoring uh, greets you as you get close to uh, where the captain Ooh, is. That's interesting. Um, I'll sit down in the booth and basically put my glass on the table so it makes a, a noise. Yeah, um, it carries on snoring. Jim? Um, yes. Is um, is sleight of hand done through deception, is it? Uh, I would say so, yes. It uh, depends dexterity, what yeah. you're doing. Well, I think I'm going to have a feel through his pockets. Oh, that would be <laughs> dexterity, I think, rather. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, de definitely Dex dexterity. Deception deck. <laughs> okay. So how do I make the uh, roll? I click on, click on roll, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cl click on the scale and... Yeah. Type normal mode public, yeah. Put the average, yeah, etc. Right, there you go. Oof, nice, you make it <laughs> okay. Yeah, so you, you, you go through there, and he, he's got um, like a, a security card um, with him, and it's uh, it, it is perforated, and he's got a bit of a, a key ring, and there's like a, a pink, uh, fluffy dice. And a yellow fluffy dice together uh, on this sort of security card, uh, and on the card it reads "Star to Star." Uh, Kenneth, uh, Kenneth Goten. Right, I think we'll um, I think we'll have that card back in my pocket then. Okay. <clears throat> Is it uh, still snoring? And then I, well. Harkin, old chap, do you want to uh, make him an offer first before we uh, try the illegal way? Or uh, 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 oh, uh, what, uh, oh uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, can I help you? Ah. I for <laughs> oh, good. good morning. I'll say toasting with my cocktail. Yeah, he, he's <laughs> ah, can I help you? You got some information that needs taking. Uh, no, we, well, kind of. We've got a hmm. your vessel, I believe, is the, and I will name whatever his vessel is. Star to star, star to star. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Star, star to star is the company that I work for. They do have a very important package that we'd like you to take. Okay. Um, um, but yes, we need to start heading to towards Drynax. Drynax, you say? Um. And we believe your ship has the capability of carrying the package. Yeah, it, 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 we'd have to stop off and refuel, um, probably at Azim or, or maybe Topol or Clark. Um, but yeah, uh, my ship, you know, is, is you know, we can get quite far. Excellent. Uh, the package is, and I'll kind of on my watch press a few buttons and bring up a holographic image of of my yacht. Uh, uh, oh, um, uh, yes, we were wondering if you could give us a tow. I'm sure the king would be very happy if you could assist. Um, I won't be able to tell anything. I could get you to Drynax and you could get someone to bring your, your ship, you know, along after slowly. Is your vessel not capable of no, it, such it, a it, task? It, it, it is quite uh, the, the light craft and, and fast. 
Um, oh, I see. Mm. You'd need like a salvage vessel to do that kind of thing. Okay, I think I may have misinterpreted what we were told earlier. <laughs> that's that's right. Are yeah. there any? Yeah, could, are there any ships? I mean, I can get you there. I can get you there. You know, no, uh, no that's not anyway. necessary. Uh, I'll just kind of get up and walk off, uh, and I'll okay. co- come back to the captain. I'm. I want to know: Are there any ships here capable of getting us to or towards Drynax? Well, on, on the ship. Yes. Uh, uh, let me have a quick look. Yeah, the, the, there is a free trader um, um, available. Okay. Um, do we know the name of the ship? Um, the Kenneth Cotton. The Can of Cotton. Kenneth Cotton. Oh, Kenneth. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll ask at the bar. Uh, I don't know if there if there's anyone from the Kenneth Cotton in here. Um. Prob- no. Uh, they're probably down bit down on the docking bay. Uh, so I was unloading or loading. I see. Well, thank you very much. I'll. I'm going to return I to can, the ship. I can ping them across a message to the docking bay if you want to tell them that uh, you're on your way and you wish to uh, rendezvous with them. Um, if you could give them the the comm channel for my ship and I'll kind of produce a card. Okay. And uh, ask them to be in touch. That would be okay. just okay. smashing. Okay. So um, you give me a comm card. Um, and then I wander back towards the ship. So, Colonel Chapman, did you give the, the chap his uh, security card back? Nope. <clears throat> Excellent. <laughs> <clears throat> and I shall leave towards the docking bay. Okay. Along with Harkin, picking up Terence on the way out, I guess. Yep. <clears throat> So are we going to? Um, uh, are we going to pay to take the get the cruise? Or are we going to uh, get that cruise, then um, take the ship and eject the crew? What's our plan? That, that sounds a bit rough. Oh, that does sound rather uncivilized. <laughs> Very well, unsporting. No, not not at all. All we have to do is is basically pay for a small tug to tug us out. Um, under some pretense that we need a tug. Um, oh, and then put them back on the tug. And then Sorry. put them on the tug when we leave. Right. Well, I'm not, ta- not talking about like you know, <laughs> dispatching the crew. Spacing them. <laughs> I'm, merely, I'm merely saying that we don't necessarily need to take them with us. I mean, it might be a bit, bit bad publicity. Mm. Yes. I mean, what would the press say? Yes, pirate-spaced people. Well, mm. I'm not spacing people, <laughs> um, but we we do need to consider that we might be um, that there might be resistance, well, as in true. from the from the the um, Trojans, Trojan terror wing, or the. I hazard. mean, if if they started, well, that's uh, that's their error, and then you know do whatever needs to be done. Yeah, space them whatever it is you well, do. I, I don't want the captain, the captain, to get us out there, and then go um, turn off all his engines, and we get boarded by the the, um, the pirates, the yeah, the Trojans. But I, I, I you yeah, know, probably if we're if we're going to get a show ship. on a on a on a on a free trader, we should probably be pretty open and upfront about the fact that he may be putting a target on his back. Yeah. Uh, I- I mean, if I was a free trader and we approached him, um, I think I would probably say no myself. But, I, it, <laughs> you know, we can go but try. The other option is uh, I, I'm assuming we've got back to the ship and we are discussing this in... But yeah, we'd be discussing on board. In the yacht, in one of the bars somewhere. Um, in one of the lounges. Mm, um, well... I do have another option for a gentleman, and I shall hold up this fluffy dice keyring with the uh, with the um, security pass on it. Um, we could board 
the star of star, star to star, um, here and take off in it from the ground. Uh, well, well, let's, there will, let's there see what will the still be, trader does. There will still be their crew on board. Well, having seen you guys in action, I wouldn't have thought that would have taken too long to sort out. No. I reckon Vigo here could probably do it all on his own. Well, you norms are pretty fragile, but I try only to take out those who've started the fight. Don't like to start it myself. Gives us scions a bad reputation. I'm going to laugh as if signs have ever had anything other than a bad <laughs> reputation. So, you, you know, um, Agent Thorne, Vigo, well, you, you'd all know that uh, a Herald Class Fast Messenger, basically, it normally runs with a, um, a crew of about seven, which would be a captain, a pilot, an astrogator, uh, a couple of engineers, a gunner and a steward. Okay. Um, well, we're going to try and calm the the far trader. Okay. Let's get him pissed. <laughs> so, yeah, the, 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 there's uh, a person sort of wanders up. Uh, he's got his overalls tied around his waist. Uh, he's got a bit of grease on him. He, he looks like he's been working most of the morning. Uh, it sort of comes over, says, uh, I hear you, uh, you guys have some business. Uh, yes, uh, are you the captain of the far trader vessel? Uh, I'm indeed, yes. Oh, smashing, do come aboard, and I'll kind of invite him on. <laughs> okay, to the superior <laughs> lounge. He, he, he's just sort of having a look around, a bit of a nosy, really. Um, would you care for a drink? Uh, yeah, have you got any, uh, um, brandy, Drynaxian brandy? Oh, of course, and I'll pour him a large glass. Well, the auto bar will pour him a large glass. Okay. He sort of knocks it back. Yeah, good stuff. So what, what is it you need? Uh, we need, uh, we need transporting... Uh, the vessel, tran this vessel, transporting to Drynax. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, obviously transporting your ship, uh, I can't carry as much cargo as I'd like to, um, and still have uh, a very prominent performance. So, uh, you know, the price won't be low. Well, I'm, I'm sure the, the king wouldn't mind. The king? You like the kings here? Uh, no, uh, my father's on Drynax. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, payment would have to be up front. Well, you, what is the charge? Hmm. Wow. This here ship, you know, uh, there's a lot of talk about yachts and people looking for yachts and things at the moment. Uh, uh, everyone's always looking for yachts. They take so long to build, don't you know? Should we talk um, 50,000 credits? Uh, have I any idea what we should be paying? Because I, I have none. Do you have Broker or streetwise? Uh, I definitely have streetwise. Okay. You can make me a streetwise roll. Uh, average difficulty? Yeah. Uh, yes, 11 with an effect of three. Okay. It is on the steep side, but you need. Um, it is on the very steep side, but 
if he can offer you um, a minority, then uh, you know maybe it's a, a good price to pay. It all depends how good he is. Uh, what are your credentials for such a price? I have a ship that can do it, and I'm a good pilot. And I have a good crew. I have a crew who know how, uh, when to keep the mouth shut. Uh, how much would I expect to pay for this? Uh, I'm just having a look, actually. What's the tonnage on a um, on the yacht? Uh, the yacht is. I think the two hundred tons. Oh, it might be, might, it might be three. No, it won't be that. Uh, one hundred and twenty. The yacht's one hundred and twenty tons. So uh, well, is... fuel consumption, it's one hundred and twenty tons. Is that what it is? No. Displace the whole. You've got a displacement figure somewhere. Uh, oh, 200. Uh, oh, 200 tons. What, the yacht's 200 tons. Well, that's what it says hull, 200 tons standard. Right. So the cargo, the cargo for a free trader is 82 tons. That's the cargo hold. In a cargo hold in a bar trader is 64 tons. So I'm assuming he's going to have to stick it on the outside. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just yeah, so, look at, so just the, hull, look at the... the hull on a free trader is 200 tons. Same as on a far trader. So it, your ship won't go inside their hold. Oh, your yeah, ship, it will be ship, kind of attached. Yeah. If you had like a cruiser, you know, like a like a proper big old cruiser that's like a thousand tons, then that might have a hold of 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 you know several hundred, and then your ship would go inside. Down in nineteen sixty eight pointed out though with the on with the ship on the outside, it'll reduce the jump from jump two to jump one, which is the same as what we've got right now. Oh so yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. How the hell well did I get to where we were? You probably got dropped off by your dad <laughs> by one of his cruisers. <laughs> by one of his cruisers. You, you, you honestly have no clue. Your captain basically told you that you were you were towed there um, by um, some mercenary carrier. Does this far trader have the fuel to do a jump to with our ship attached to it? Well, I mean, it would be reduced down to a jump one anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, no, but if it's got the jump tanks, it might be able to do it. Yeah. Um, just give me two seconds. Let's get a... he, he's going to know anyway. He's sort of looking into it and he, he's sort of working out a, a deal. Um, yeah, I doubt if my, my ship will, uh, will, will do it, uh, really, but. Uh, um, my brother, he has a, a ship um, that will definitely be able to do something. I mean, you could leave the yacht here and we could come back and get it. Uh, I would rather not, given the circumstances. <laughs> well, then we might as well just plot plot a course using your yacht and just take the just take our time don't, to get to Trinidad. Don't there isn't a course. We, yeah, we can't get there. This, the the, the, oh, the not, not enough systems. Yeah, he, he's Correct. he's got an old he's got an old uh, but trusty uh, uh, cruiser uh, that that'll that'll certainly take you. But again, the price will be what what we spoke. I'm assuming haggling is broker rather than uh, steward or. You can do it with streetwise. Okay, can I try and haggle him? Yeah, go for it. Uh, Eleven within effect three. Okay. Oof. Um, 
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Man. Yeah, have some of my rolls tonight. Yeah, double six. Boom. Um yeah. It, if, uh, listen, I'll I'll do it for forty thousand. Okay, done. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a long one. Uh you'll be able to two systems at a time, but uh yeah, he'll, he'll get you there. That's lovely. That's de- that's a deal. How far away is his brother? How far? Oh, away? he's on the station as well. Oh, is it right? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> right. In that case, then I am going to head back towards the TAS lounge. And I will hand the key, the security card in at reception and say I found it in the street. Okay. Thank you, uh, sir, uh, for your honesty. Um, could I leave your na- Could you leave your name so I can hand that over to? Oh uh, no, I'd like prefer to do these things anonymously. Oh, do you do this a lot, sir? <laughs> what do do what a lot? Hand things in. Yeah, well, always. If I find something in the street, dear boy, I always do my best. <clears throat> I was in the Marines, don't you know? Okay. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, this chap who goes by the name of Victor, uh, he he sort of yeah ar- arranges you to to sort of dock up with. Um, uh, his brother's cruiser that is the uh, uh, the pennant of brightness the ship it's an old it looks like it's been blown to bits and battered uh, there's bits hanging off it it looks a real rough uh, knackered old ship um, if someone put money into it and you know uh, time and effort uh, then th- this could be a real, um, a real sort of good project to have, but yeah, it, it looks like it runs okay. Uh, but yeah, th- there it is, and uh, you, you sort of get the captain to to hook up with uh, this cruiser. Oh, well, that'll get us there. When can we leave then? I take it you're staying on your yacht or are you going to board the cruiser? No, I'm staying on the yacht. Okay. A bit more comfortable. Okay, so over... <laughs> so so one, I, I will two... definitely board the... I will definitely board the cruiser and I will definitely hook into its scanners and I will definitely not to know what ships are outside. Okay, it, it's going to take... Um... A jump of two, um, and then um, one, two. Oh, and then one, two. Okay. Two jumps of yeah. two, yeah. Yeah, two jumps of two. Uh, stopping off at uh, a place called Torpol to, to um, refuel. Uh, he, he does say that they won't dock, though. They'll, they'll refuel at Gas Giant and move, move, uh, move on again. Cool. Okay. So that is four weeks that that's going to take. Again, we'll move that through. Um, so each jump is still only a week? Yeah. Yes. Ah, sorry, yes. No, 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 my, my mistake. It's two weeks. No, you're good. Yep, sorry. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, it's two weeks. So if there's anything you want to do in the two weeks, shout up. And we can add that on. So um, again, Vigo is just going to keep... On. Yeah, Vigo's just going to continue his his training and improving his uh, telepathic skills. Um, so Terence will help Vigo because Terence knows a little bit about that kind of thing. Well, that's right, psychology. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you, you you do a little bit of your your training and your honing your skills. Um, how can you spend most of your time? in a uh, drunken haze um drunken haze spotting things yeah absolutely uh, no, no, no. I've, I've got guests on board there'd be yeah. entertainments we've 
I have a home cinema, high fidelity music system, We've got miniature well, war games. I, I, ble- I believe the Colonel is quite the entertainer as well. I'm sure that. Uh, yep. I shall spend yeah. my time either carousing or performing, depending yeah, plus, on know, the mood. Exactly. When I have a a well known entertainer on board, yes. why not? I shall be keeping everyone's spirits up. Um, in fact, um, I'll be telling one of my favourite stories uh, about the uh, the time I joined the Guard of Honour and I danced with the Archduke of Deneb's beautiful wife and she fell in love with me. Not only did she fall in love, but then uh, I realised that the Archduke had taken great offence to uh, what had happened and uh, he chased me out of the court, shall we say. <clears throat> But oh, one so story. A, so is most of your entertainment after dinner speaking? <laughs> it's if you've ever seen the film by Terry Gilliam, the the um, Baron of Baron Munchausen. Baron Munchausen. Yeah. My stage show is like what he does with the you know on the with the cart people coming in and out and all the rest of it, but I do it with electronics. So I've got a computer that. Uh, does all the sort of other parts and all the rest of it, a a specialist computer. And then uh, my other part is is doing the after-dinner speeches, like a bit like sort of Sterling Moss or, you know, somebody like that. So, yeah, drinks are flowing, skills are honing, uh, more drinks are flowing and the entertainment is is happening. Um, And before you know it, the two weeks fly by. And you arrive in the system of Dronax and comes are sent through to the floating palace uh, to announce your arrival. Um, pennant of uh, brightness, uh, please uh, uh, find your welcome it is needed at uh, um, Dronax. Um, enjoy your stay. Um, please keep your arms to uh, uh, a minimum Uh, no blades no sidearms Um, yeah no uh, an armour to minimum please so this this is who we come to see is it yeah is anybody sending comms through to tell them that you've got Said uh, first. Yeah, I'm assuming I'll have some kind of comments okay. to some kind of royal estate or something. Okay. So I will, well, probably not me personally, but say like Worcester or the captain will probably be letting the royal authorities know that we've returned. So you dock um, quite successfully. Um, or should I say you undock from um, the cruiser and then you dock onto the uh, floating palace. Um, what you will know, especially you, Harkin, is that Drynax, the actual planet, is basically a blasted uh, aftermath of asteroids and nukes being uh, thrown at it. Um, uh, there are clans that live down there, but they, they live with hazard suits. Um, but basically, the, the, the planet is a dead planet. Uh, it was basically nuked to death by the Aslan um, hierarchy um, uh, back in the day. Uh, but all that was left was the floating palace, which is basically... Um, anything decadent is there. So uh, lots of artworks, um, lots of luxury, um, but everything is very old. Um, so, you, you know, the, the, the thing's crumbling and, you know, it, 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 it's been, and been painted over. Um, yeah, it, it, it's seeing its age, basically. But, you know, the, the artworks that are, that are on the, 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 uh, the floating palace, a second to none. Um, but yes, you dock. And uh, you notice that there are 10 guard standing either side of the uh, um, 
the walkway uh, that, that you'd take off the ship. Um, all of them uh, have wings coming out the back of uh, their armour, um, golden wings. Uh, they don't look like they're of any use whatsoever. They're, they're not like they're um, for practical reasons. They're just part of the armour. And each uh, of the guard has a golden hawk helmet. Yeah, so the beak comes down over their face. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're, they're standing either side, uh, ready to greet you. Remember, Hawken, before we get off this ship, it's payday for Agent Thorne and myself, so don't forget to get our credits. Uh, I believe that was all arranged through the broker. That's nothing to do with me. And I disembark. Okay. And okay. If you want to tickle on the back of your mind, if we get ripped <laughs> off, I'm coming for you. <laughs> That if you're reading surface thoughts, you'll just hear the, oh, the amount of times I've heard that from an angry husband. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> um, That's a reason I keep getting in jewels. <laughs> um, I'm walking, I'm going to walk back onto, onto, uh, onto um, his ship while he goes away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm staying, I'm staying with There Asian are a Thor. lot of people still on board. <laughs> That's yeah, okay, but I think Agent Thorne and I can handle it if we have to. <laughs> I'm not. They, uh, everybody is beginning to disembark. Uh, there is a skeleton crew that are left on on board, but yeah, the the whole crew uh, mostly is now leaving uh, uh, the ship. Do I have any? The... So where do they go to actually get paid? Because that was all done through someone that wasn't. Yeah, that, that'll that'll just be updated. That was done through the broker, so that's nothing to do with. Um, with where you are now, yeah, that, that that's all been uh, sent through. Okay. Okay. Uh, sure will we your friends be uh, joining you, uh, Prince Arkan? Uh, the king would like to show his respect and uh, his thanks uh, to them. Um, I'll come back to the ship and tell them that the king has requested their presence to thank uh. them for their service. Okay, now we know we're getting paid. That's yeah. fine. Big old, big old guy. He heads in. Uh, does that include me? Uh, I, I would imagine so. Oh, right. Okay. <clears throat> well, no harm, eh? No. Well, I have time to brush up and and clean up before I uh, before I go. Uh, do we? I have no idea. Has our <laughs> presence been requested immediately? Or yeah, I mean, it, it'd be bad form to ke keep uh, King yeah, Olaf waiting. He, he oh, does so have might... a quick temper. I, I take it I've got some kind of hotel room or something in on Drinax. Uh, no, no, you 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 own quarters here, basically. You, oh, right. Okay. Sort of apartment, like an apartment. Or... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Vigo just follows behind Hawken after we get the comms to to, okay, there, to attend. There is there is a chap in dress uniform who, who walks with you, and he he's telling you about the palace and uh, how important it is in the uh, the reach, uh, and how important the, uh, the 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 Sindalian Empire rises from the ashes, and um, how many uh, you know priceless works of art. Um, that, that are on this floating palace, and uh, the the most impressive throne uh, in the uh, in known space, um, the dragon throne is made up of um, the enemy ships um, uh, that have been blown from the skies, uh, and is more impressive than the actual imperial throne as well. Wow. Although, having said that, I haven't seen the Iridium throne myself. <clears throat> I can assure you this is more impressive. Mm. I'm sure it is. I, I'm not questioning that. But, okay, so he leads you through into, like, a courtroom. Uh, and there are many people stood around talking to each other. And 
at the end of the room, there, there's some steps that lead up to this massive chair that looks like a chair of almost junk and pieces that have been welded to it. Um, um, almost a disorganised version of the, uh, the, the the Game of Thrones throne, but with parts of the sh of different ships sort of welded to it. And at the front of it is a massive dragon uh, skull. Cool. And there is a, quite a large obese man with a beard and a crown sitting on on the, the throne. Ugh! Yes, yes. Come forward. Show yourselves. Step forward okay, with yeah. the rest. Step forward. Mm. So... Uh, who who are you? Who, 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 who speaks for you? Who who uh, escorts my uh, my son? I, I'm going to shuffle behind Vigo. <laughs> Vigo points at Agent Thorne. You're up. All right. I shall step forwards, and and I'll put my hand behind um, Hacken's back. Right. And so make sure that he steps forward as well. I'm sure and sure etiquette will suggest that he will step forward and not just go. Mm -hmm. oh, well, I mean, I'd know the protocol. If I wasn't supposed to step forward, you try and move me and I'd stand perfectly still. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you know, uh, Arkin, how irritated the king is always of you and, and how he feels completely let down by your party culture and your attitude. To, towards the the throne and um, the, the the pomp that goes behind it. Can I can I read? Can I try and read the room? To kind of do I yeah, see that? Ev you feel like every eye is on you. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. But sort of people have, have almost breathed in and are waiting for a reaction. Are you going to tell me, or do I have to wait all day? Um, so I shall step forward. And I shall, and I shall, I shall bow, not too low, just a little bow. I shall say we have completed the mission, and we have brought back your prize. And I shall, I'm assuming she's in the room. Ah, yes, Amelda. Yes, uh, yes, you're, 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 yeah, you have been truly missed uh, uh, with uh, uh, in the kitchen. Yes, uh, yes, uh, they have truly missed your skills. Uh, maybe you should. Uh, uh, you should go and uh, make yourself uh, uh, go and do what work you 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 yeah, you you you're, you're doing. Um, and I shall say, awesome. I shall say, with the guidance and leadership your son has has shown us, um, we we uh, we uh, did this with great valor and dignity. <laughs> you speak of guidance and leadership. The boy is a fool. But I, sir, am not a fool. And if I say he showed good valor, valor, guidance, and leadership, then why would you not think this true? Because I, I am the king and I know best. I'll Fair roll enough. my eyes when he says that. I am King Olaf, the 16th of his name. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> I shall step back. Hmm. Tell me, are you in employment at the moment? Um, I shall I shall turn round to Harkin. Are you still employing us, Harkin? Uh, technically, your contract was never with me. A apparently, then no. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, I, I maybe have uh, work for you if you. Uh, I am. I am looking for a group, and, and you may be uh, ideal for what I'm looking for. Um, we uh, we are Clear fairly the room. adept. Clear the room. Get out. Get out. And yeah, but most of the the courtiers and uh, the bodies sort of start streaming out the, the the double doors at the end of the room. So who's left, Jim? Uh, who's left is the, the guard are all here still. Yeah. Um, yeah. There is a chap with um, slightly better armour than the others. 
His, his helmet looks a slightly more impressive hawk uh, and his wings look slightly bigger. Uh, and here is there. There is, um, there is also a um, very good looking lady at his side. Uh, she's late 20s. Um, Harkon, she's your sister. Um, you would you would know uh, actually Colonel Chapman. You would know that it is the That's Princess his... Rail. Yeah. Um, and the only other uh, relation that he, he does have is Prince Harrick, who um, has basically spent the last twenty years in a coma, um, being um, cared for medically, uh, and it, it, his body is tried to be. He, he basically had a bad. Uh, incident uh, 20 years ago that left his body broken and in bits and it's basically took them 20 years to get him in a reasonable operating sort of state right. and even yeah uh, you do know that um, yeah Prince uh, Harrick uh, is the the he is the next in line uh, to the throne okay. but Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, I'll have you know that I was once a uh, great warrior. Uh, I preferred to use my si uh, fists and sword, but out there with my hawkmen, yes, yes, many, many ran from me. Blah. Yes, yes. Me and my hawkmen flying blind on rocket cycles. Yes. Blah. <laughs> Anyways, to business. How would you like to earn a substantial amount of money? Um, we're listening. Uh, well, I have a ship, quite a nice ship, that needs to be used. Um, uh, uh, The Drydaxian Empire needs to rise from the ashes of which it now sits and weeps. Yes. Mm. I need a group who would be willing to help the Drydaxian Empire get to back to where it was. I am looking for a group of privateers. Yes, who are willing to take this ship, uh, form trade treaties, uh, stop pirates, um, take goods from those who don't need them, not kill anybody, of course, but merely uh, relieve them of their wares. Uh, all in the name of Drynax, of course. All I ask for is 10% of everything that you make. And if you are successful, my daughter will marry one of you, and I will give you all dukedoms of Drynax. Hmm. That, that is a very uh, interesting, impressive offer. What is, what is the ship you speak of? It is an old ship, but it's a good one. <clears throat> Ego turns to Thorny. He's like, "It's the best offer we've had in a long time." I know. <laughs> let's just let's just play it cool, yeah. <laughs> um, what what is the name of the ship? It isn't the Penzance, is it? No, <clears throat> well, it's good. You can name it what you want. It, it's a, uh, it's an old mm. commerce raider. It, it's currently known as the Harrier. Sounds I'm assuming, interesting. It, I'm assuming it was parked outside, as in in the. It yeah, it, it you noticed yeah, it, it, it looks something like that. It's a deep oh, type cruiser. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I'm in. Well, Your Grace, will your son be joining us on this mission as well for you? Well, I was going to say that. If you, uh, of course, part of the deal would be to take uh, my son with you and to uh, to uh, um, give him some life experience. Well, as agent, but it's at the bottom of a <clears throat> bottle. Bah! 
Well, as Agent Thorne said, he was instrumental in recovering Miss Hutton. So it would be the only way we would accept the mission is with him aboard the ship. Well, uh, you look like you've got enough crew to, to man the thing. But obviously, if you're going to be taking ships along the way, then maybe you should uh, look for more crew so you can, you know, take ships, get them piloted back. Yes, um, I could offer you contacts as well. Yes, my experience is vast, and many look at me as one of the leading lights of the reach. I try to suppress a smile when he says that. <clears throat> hmm. Mm. Yes. Would, I, uh, would I be able to... Uh, uh sell the exclusive rights to the uh, to the to the story the uh, the, the the book shall we say uh, and uh, media rights <clears throat> but i should see why not obviously i would need to uh, proofread uh, any such form of media but uh, uh, yes anything that talks of my exploits and my 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 uh, well, plans and uh... exactly i was thinking about the way that we create the glory of the new drinaxian empire is uh, through uh, media and uh, and telling the right story <clears throat> yes yes that would be hard. <laughs> uh, more than pleasing I, I can certainly oversee such a thing I have quite the experience. <clears throat> the only experience you have, boy, is at the bottom of a bottle. Yeah, <laughs> and your hands down a cheap horse pants. <laughs> well, they do say things run in the family. <laughs> <laughs> your brother doesn't do that sort of thing. <laughs> well, he wouldn't now, would he? <laughs> uh, I'll turn to Harkin and say... Boy. Uh, so, yeah, so, so is it Captain Harkin now? No, 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 no. I did put the, my son in charge. <laughs> no. uh, I'll, I'll look at the rest of the crew and, and say, I think we did, didn't we? I don't know. I think uh, Captain Longfang probably has the most experience captaining a privateer ship. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I nearly got myself my, shot. My son needs... <laughs> Tutoring in the, in the ways of space combat and well, finance and holding himself in proper regard instead of the partying and the and yeah. the embarrassment that he brings to court all the time. By your grace, our barger, our barger friend here is uh, Captain Longfang. Has captained his own privateer vessel in the past. To you probably. Make an excellent captain and tutor. The, the, the excellent. Now, of course, I will supply you with a letter of mark as well. Yes. So, um, yes, um, 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 almost a license to pirate. Mm, mm. <laughs> Obviously, you'd have to bring a few systems into our cause. That can be arranged, I think. Hmm. Yes. Starting with the ones who were previously members of the Empire, maybe. I think that's probably well, a good way to start. Show, but Rax, Rax, uh, would you show uh, these gentlemen uh, the Harrier? And they're this better dressed guard sort of size. Yes, my lord, of course. If you would follow me. And he bows to the king and walks backwards and then turns and walks away expecting you to follow. Back off in the same manner, as in do not turn back to king until we're at the door. <clears throat> So it leads you through to um, uh, a docking area where this the ship 
is it is um, again I do have a picture of it but I don't think you'll be able to see it if you don't can't see the other one um, pop in the discord and we'll be able to see it then yeah maybe I'll say yeah I'll send it you later anyway to, that's not a problem um, but he he sort of takes you through and he, he begins to chunter with Harkin. This is a waste of time, Harkin. Yes, your father has this harebrained scheme. Yes, but... Sounds ship, like all of them. Oh, uh, this ship would be better in my command in the fleet. Well, what would that pompous arse know about anything? It's your father you speak of. Yes, it's a place of authority from which I speak. Yeah. So, yeah, he leads you through into this hangar. And there is um, a Drynax Harrier class commerce radar. Uh, those who have worked around Starships before know it, it looks a very old ship. <coughs> um, yeah, this is the area that we found. Uh, uh, we found it uh, down on the planet. Uh, where it had sort of crash landed, uh, uh, and we we uh, yeah it, we well it, it was part of the Aslan attack about two hundred years ago, so the, the ship is quite an old one. Um, um, but yes, with with the loss of our starport, we can't do full repairs on it. So um, the the technicians in the Scholars Tower have, have done their best, but. Um, there are still numerous problems and drawbacks. You know, you, you'll have to um, uh, alleviate these drawbacks by. Uh, um, I, I don't know if you you own any ship shares along the way, or any ships, or, or things, or money, or, or whatever, or, or earning money along the way. But uh, uh, and he, he sort of walks around. There's an engineer that comes up to him who sort of. Um, busying himself around the the, the, the hangar itself, uh, Harris, uh, would would you like to uh, um, come here? Would you like to explain to the, the these gentlemen what, what uh, the drawbacks we have? He says, well, he says uh, there's a uh, uh, the ventral turret is damaged. Um, it looks like it was targeted in an Aslan attack, uh, and it, it took a direct hit from uh, some form of uh, fusion uh, weapon um, but it's basically damaged um, the turret and the ammo feed mechanism um, you're probably looking um, yeah about a million credits to uh, to sort that out okay and then we've got the the, the holographic hull and he goes to part of the hull. He says, uh, um, the hull still remains battle damaged and only projectors on the port wing of the nose and the ship are still functional. Um, however, the system still draws power as though all the projectors are operating. Again, to put this entirely right, I mean, for those of you who don't know, the holographic hull, it's, it's sort of a stealth uh, yeah. capability. Um Again, you're looking about a million credits to, to put this right. Um, um, the ship's maintenance cost, uh, you're normally looking around about two to three thousand credits um, a month. Um, but at the moment, we're, we're sort of estimating that that's going to cost about 10,000 um, to start with, especially with all the things that are wrong. Um, the hull is riddled with uh, bullet holes and uh, weapon damage. Um, it, it did have a, a quite uh, a good hull, uh, um, but now I would say that's a, roughly about 80% strength. Again, that will need uh, uh, upgrading probably about 500,000 credits to, to get that back up to strength. And then you've got the military countermeasures suite. Again, that suffered damage. Uh, to get this back uh, up and running, you're probably looking about another, 
you know, a million credits um, uh, or, or ship share. Um, it, it, uh, that, that normally sort of does. Uh, the power plant, again, um, it's been reduced to 75% of its normal power. Um, again, you're looking about a million credits to, to get that up and running properly, although it works. Or, or the ship works, I have to say. This is just to get it uh, put back up to, to optimum um, working order. Uh, it has an unreliable jump drive. Um, um, but again, um, yeah, that, that'll, that'll need a, a couple of ship shares if you've got anything like that or, or a, a reasonable amount of money spent to put that right. Uh, and then there's an unreliable maneuver drive as well. Um, overall, you, you know, th th this, th th this ship was built around about a tech level 15, so uh, which is far above what we've uh, got here and most systems of the reach as well. Um, so if, it'll probably mean finding suitable spare parts. Um, mm. Well, we need to find a starport capable of even starting to fix that, don't we? Really? I mean, uh, a few a few things on the ship. Uh, there's the main airlock, cargo hatch, um, cargo scoop. Uh, we've got the cargo hold, the crew staterooms, officer staterooms, uh, the dorsal babat, um, the ventral turret, which is obviously uh, damaged. Uh, there's a common room, uh, a computer area, and uh, obviously the bridge. Vigo's sitting back knowing that he has no ship shares whatsoever to contribute to this, but he's like, well, it's better than the ship we flew in here on. Not yours, Hawken. I mean, that Agent Thorne and I flew in on before we met you. Mm. I think we can do something with this. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe the young prince is uh, willing to sell some shares in his ship um, to raise a uh, uh, finance. But anyway, that's for another day. The ship <clears throat> is in for use. It's ready for use of now. It's fully, fully fueled, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the, the, you. You have no. Uh, uh, you have no uh, mission specific. You know things that we want you to do, just to to do as you see fit. Well, then let's get out there into the stars and do as we see fit and make some credits. Hmm. I agree. I think we should find some interesting place to go and uh, see if we can't squeeze something out of a big fat trader. And Vigo just walks on board. He's <laughs> fairly socially inept. So he's like, I, I, he could not give a single shit. He just walks on. He's like, let's go then. Right. Hey, Hawken, can you have your Worcester guys transfer our gear over to this rust bucket? I mean, it, it is quite rude, Hawken, just to jump on now. I mean, you know, there, there is <laughs> things to do. And, you know, I mean, especially if you're going to be leaving for a long period of time, you know, it would be bad form to sort of up and leave straight away. You uh, you know, you definitely need things moving around. Um, Vigo's just going to look for a stateroom, make yeah. first claim on a stateroom. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to want to uh, look through the um, um, the archives okay. uh, to get just so I can get some background on 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 what the you know the the surrounding um, uh, regions and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And that, yeah. that and he's probably got the best library to do it. And then I can upload whatever I need into the um, ship's computer. Uh, Harkon would probably be again looking for the the best stateroom 
uh, well, the biggest one, because he's going to have his own stuff transferred to it. So if he's going to have to be on this rust bucket, he's going to want to be as comfortable as possible. Mm-hmm. So looking at it, there are two officer staterooms. And uh, then the, there are the normal staterooms as well. So there's another uh, six of those. Well, yeah, Vigo doesn't. Vigo doesn't want an officer's stateroom. He just he's yeah. just looking for a place to. He's not that fancy. They're all very. If you go to put have a look on the ship, it is very very ornate. Um, even if the outside of the ship doesn't look, you know, up to scratch at the moment, inside it, it looks luxurious. There's velvets. There's leather. Um, it. You know, it's like it, being inside some. Um, well, it's like being inside a palace almost. It, 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 yeah, the, the, the luxury inside is very, very high. Hmm. <clears throat> I, th- I think um, I, I shall, I mean, I, I'll uh, go back to my apartment and start getting some stuff together. But I might contact my cousin um, and uh, Herelda and uh, see if she can't get me into the palace um, because I uh, I fancy uh, trying to uh, see if I can meet up with uh, with Harkin's uh, lovely sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, carefully avoiding the king, of course. <clears throat> Sort of di- get dibs onto who's having what on the ship. We shall leave it there for this week. Okay, and we'll pick it up next week from when we, uh, we we've sort of had a look around the ship. I'll try actually and share uh, for for the viewers and things um, on maybe Patreon chat or something the the schematics of of the um, the ship and and the the space map as well. I'm going to need to scratch Pete's head about why people can't see the map on on uh, the foundry bit. It's probably me done something wrong. But um, but yes, anyway, last but not least, I did mention it earlier, we've got the giveaway. Uh, so uh, thank you to Mongoose and to, to Pete. Uh, we've got a copy, uh, a PDF copy, um, of the Pirate, Pirates of Drynax box set. Now, I've got it here. I've got the the uh, hard copy here that I got got myself. It is an absolute fantastic bit of kit. Uh, got the PDF as well. Again, fantastic. There's some great maps in there. Uh, it's a three book set. Uh, you've got a book about the Trojan Reach. You've got the the adventure book, and then you've got a book with all ships and. Uh, there's loads of information if you're into the Aslan. There's loads of Aslan stuff in there. Um, but yeah, it's a, a, one of the best campaign sets that I've seen and sort of read through. Real impressive stuff. So, Mr. Garblag, what is the hashtag? Say again. Hook. Okay, so that's H double O K, hashtag hook. Yeah, if you want to enter the competition for. The Pirates of Drynax box set PDF. I believe that it retails around about forty or fifty pounds, so it's a it's a great prize. Um, I know that I did offer the a better prize last week. Um, unfortunately, I slipped and I've sort of sprained my ankle, so uh, <laughs> the date, date with myself won't be up for grabs. Um, that that or might maybe put that up and about next week, uh, <laughs> but you get to see me every Wednesday night anyway. So what more could you want? Um, I'll give everybody another thirty seconds. <laughs> Roger, you're very wrong. <laughs> um, I'll give everybody another thirty seconds to join if they want. Please, if you want to enter the competition for the box set, please hashtag hook. Thank you, non uh, anomaly. That's very kind. Yeah, it looks like that you and Roger are fighting over me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. And Griffin of FH, you have won the Pirates of Drynax um, PDF set. So well done. Um, thank you very much for entering. And uh, yeah, very lucky man. Thank you very much. Uh, congratulations. So, so brings to the end our uh, episode three. Episode three of uh, the Pirates of Drynax. Um, tomorrow, Will we be doing? Uh, are you running Fractured Empire Star Wars? Yeah, Edge so, yeah. of Empire, Fractured Empire. Yes, yeah, so that's the the Star Wars role playing game, the uh, the uh, Fantasy Flight one, um, Fractured Empires. Is there anything going on in America tomorrow night? Uh, yep, Aaron? tomorrow night we'll be back uh, with Octoon Cthulhu and returning to Shadows of Atlantis, where we uh, left off uh, before the holidays to do that uh, little. Uh, six session force to fear preview but we'll be back now with shadows of atlantis and we'll be running that through till the end excellent on friday do we have anything is there anything organized yet not yet i believe that there's some plans to do something soon on there maybe some june or something uh monday is a uh, empty night as well and oh is there anything happening in, in america on the friday night no 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 Okay, no problem. Uh, so Tuesday next week, we're visiting Coriolis again. Um, excellent. A long-running campaign. Really, really good. Uh, if you're a Coriolis or if you're a sci-fi uh, sci fan, um, yeah, it's a must to watch. It's a good one. And then back to Wednesday with uh, me and my fine-looking crew again, um, who I happen to be the most fine-looking of them all, and I'll tell you that. Uh, but course. yes, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we look forward to, to carrying on next week. Uh, thank you to my players. Thank you to the viewers. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>